You don't need to be an expert developer to contribute to Flutter because there are many ways to contribute other than solving bugs or adding new features. Therefore, I'm going to show you seven ways on how you can contribute to Flutter. So let's get started with the first one, which is to share your Flutter learning. So Flutter is still a new tech framework. There are many beginners out there who are learning and you might be thinking, I am a beginner. There is no one who wants to know what a beginner is learning, right? Well, that is not true. Developers who does not know Flutter can definitely learn from you. Beginners or even experienced ones who are dabbling into Flutter, they can definitely learn from you because everyone starts from somewhere. Therefore, sharing what you learned helps. So the next thing is to do the Flutter quarterly surveys. So Flutter always have quarterly surveys and this gives you a chance to give suggestions on the framework. Moreover, this will help people in the Flutter team to focus on which feature and issues to focus on. So for example, in this quarter four or Q4 2020 surveys, it will say that developers using Flutter had a common source of frustration which is found in the code completion in the IDEs. Therefore, this feedback not only helps the Flutter team, but you out there who are using Flutter. Number three, creating tutorials. As mentioned earlier, there are many beginners out there who are still learning Flutter or many people who are uh, dabbling into Flutter. So creating a tutorial will definitely help someone in need. However, you might be thinking to yourself, I'm a beginner, what sort of tutorials can I do? Well, it can be as simple as sharing on how you download your Flutter into your Windows 11 laptop. Ooh. And the thing about tutorial is that it gets outdated really fast. A tutorial one year ago would not be applicable to the latest version of Flutter. Therefore, creating a simple tutorial would really, really help. Number four, report bugs. How can you recognize if it's a bug because of Flutter or is because of you. So first, make sure you search if there is such bugs online. If you Google it and found out that the bugs exist, whether it is in Stack Overflow or GitHub or in another website, there is no need of you to file a GitHub issue. Otherwise, file that issue that you have inside the GitHub repository. And Flutter has many projects out there. So you might not be the only one who is facing the bug. But if you manage to resolve this bug, the next thing on how you can contribute is to create pull requests. You might be thinking, I'm actually a beginner. I don't know how to resolve this bug. Then it's okay. Filing a bug is a good step. Other developers can contribute and the Flutter team, if they think this is a priority, will help resolve this bug. But if you want to do a pull request as a beginner, then you can create pull requests, which includes correcting typos in documentation or even in the website. So not all pull requests are about the code. I have created a video on how I had my pull request being approved by the Flutter team and eventually merged. And sexly, sexly, you can give a talk. So you can share your side projects that is built in Flutter or your experience developing in Flutter to a local community. So even if you're a beginner, sharing your experience about Flutter is actually good enough because not everyone knows Flutter. And an advantage of you sharing your knowledge about Flutter and your experience is that people will actually feel that you might be suitable for a job. So that means it actually opens up you to many opportunities such as job opportunities or maybe someone hiring someone for a co-founder position. And lastly, teaming up with people. So you can pair up with your buddies for a hackathon or work on a side project with your colleagues. Even if your friends does not know Flutter or they are not technical at all, they will be introduced to Flutter. So this gives a sense on how Flutter works with the people you are working with, whether it is a side project, a hackathon, or even actually a main project. And this gives the word about Flutter to the people who don't know whether they are technical or not. So in summary, you can contribute to Flutter 
whether it is sharing your learnings or teaming up with people, even if you don't have a lot of experience. And it starts by sharing it to people about your experience, your projects, or even what you think about Flutter. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more of this video, subscribe down below and comment down on what ways you have contributed to Flutter. That's about it. Stay safe and all the best. Bye-bye.